Hey everybody, it's Calum, and welcome back to more Super Mario Odyssey. We're in the Mushroom Kingdom. You get immediately thrown here at the end of the, after the credits. So calm, so peaceful. Like our trip to the Moon Kingdom was all a dream. But this isn't Super Mario 2, so no, it was not a dream. But good thing it wasn't, because uh, we saved our tiara, our two dear friends. I thought he was saying their names for some reason. I'm tired. <laughs> we saved our two friends. That nightmare is over. Hooray for us. But I've liked our travels so much I don't want our journey to end. I mean, there's still so much to do. So many hats you need to meet. And I bet if we collect even more power moons, we'll be able to travel new, uh, somewhere new. So our trip is far from over. One more hooray, I say. But for starters, let's head up to Peach's castle. Oh, Cappy, you are so naive. We have a lot to cover in this episode. So like I said in the last episode, there's going to be about five bonus episodes. Uh, I'm going to have to work on them a little bit. Mainly because uh, some of them, well, two of them require a lot of moon grinding. So, yeah. But... In this episode, we are, in fact, just going to be going over some of the things that open up to you once you beat the game. We're going to be getting all the purple coins in Peach's Castle, which is the area. It's not really Peach's Castle. I mean, Peach's Castle is in the... Whatever. You know what I mean. Um... <sighs> purple coins are in here. Cool. Uh, but yeah, there are 100 purple coins in here, which is nice, I guess. But you will be glad to know that these are the last 100 purple coins. So I'm not going to be wasting anyone's time with purple coins anymore than I already have. <laughs> Climb up to the top of this tree for two, two, there we go. Uh, where to next? That way. Because I see... I see purple queens. And there is one thing that I have yet to mention about this area. Something quite special and... Definitely something really funny. But we'll get to that when we get to it. I don't want to mention it just yet. I just... I want to... I, I just don't want to mention it yet. I want to experience what it is before I mention it. And you'll never know what it is. Uh, here are these three. I do recommend getting these uh, as quickly as you can. Uh, purely because <sighs> Nintendo like to hide these over the edge and it's just really annoying to find them. But I recommend you do get them very quickly so you don't forget later and have to backtrack and get Agitated and frustrated. Those were the same words. But yeah, a lot of new features open up to you uh, once you actually beat the game. And I will be covering all of them in this episode. Uh, I won't be going too in-depth, however, because it's not really necessary to go in-depth. I'm not going to be, like, doing absolutely everything. I will be showing it, not doing it. Unless it's so significant that it needs a demonstration, I won't be doing it. For instance, Koopa races. You can race, uh, there are two races in every single kingdom, and they will take you to a certain point. Uh, you just got to race a bunch of Koopas there and be the fastest. One race is harder than the other, you know, just how it tends to be. Uh, there's nothing there to actually balance on, so... Come on. I want to get those purple coins. Let's just throw this in here just so we can get up. And there is one feature that I can now show off now that I'm up here. Jukeboxes. Before, when you hit them, they would play uh, Bowser's 
music and such. Hit them now. The Japanese version of Jump Up Superstar plays. I really like it. It's a nice touch. Some places do play uh, the ending theme. Uh, the one we heard in the last episode, which is Honeymoon Ridge Escape. Uh, they do play that in Japanese sometimes. And that... Actually, no, no, no. I, I'm going to hold off on what I was just about to say, because it does tie into a uh, another feature that is unlocked during the post-game. Okay, so we have 54 of the purple coins. We're almost done. I'm almost done. We're halfway done. We are nowhere near done. Well, we're nowhere near nearly done, if that makes any sense. We still got quite a lot. Uh, some under here. I'm just thinking, where haven't I been besides the castle? Oh, right here. <laughs> some in the fountain. Beep. Boop. And now that we're around here, we can go over some of the new features. Uh, for instance... Uh, where are we going? Oh, we do also need to get the stuff from the Moon Kingdom as well. Here we have a music toad. Hello, I'm traveling all over in search of all different kinds of music. I wonder if uh, if you might know some of the music, if it's a certain theme. Theme is flat and blocky classic. If you got one, let me hear it. This brings up a music list. You can access this at any point in the game if you want to, now that you've done it. Now that you've done the game, you completed it. Play any 8-bit song for this for this toad here. And he will give you Power Moon. But in this kingdom, they are stars. And that's what I actually wanted to show uh, talk about, but I also wanted to experience it before. And because I don't really want to listen to this music, how about we listen to the ending theme? Eventually, we will unlock an Aber version of it, but this is good enough for now. Uh, there are more things, though. I just saw some purple coins. I will go and get them in a second. But there are more things that uh, I don't, I can't see yet. Hmm. You know, what? I don't know. We'll get to it when we get to it. And if we go to the moat around the castle, I think there are purple coins in the moat. Am I right? Am I? I thought. Oh, yeah, there are. It's under the bridge, though. And we got them right there. And you can pull out these pegs to drain the moat, but that's not really necessary unless you want to go for all of the moons in the game. Get the scarecrow, and we can go on top of the castle's roof. You're going to want to do this. Kind of a reference to Mario 64, I guess. You know, uh, you're allowed on the castle roof in Mario 64 once you complete the game. And on that same roof is Yoshi. We can be Yoshi. This is another capture, uh, obviously, for the list. Uh, can we... Uh, Yoshi can stick on the walls using his tongue. I didn't want to go there. If Yoshi hits water, he will uh, just disappear. He's not allowed to be in water. And I don't... Okay, there's three over here. I was about to say, I don't know where any more purple coins are, technically. Uh, are there any? Yeah, there are some up there. Right here. Why are there rats? That's weird. This is also the place with the only enemies in the game. Oh, pfft. Only enemies in the game. Wow. The only enemies in this kingdom, I should say. Goombas. So, I don't know. It, it's quite nice. It's 
Serene, I just saw a Salamander in the dirt. It gives you a nice break. But there is a lot to do, so it's not really that much of a break. Get those. And I don't really think there are any more... Well, they, there obviously are. I was to say, I don't think there really are any more around, but I saw already five after saying that. And there's three up there. We got up. And there's three there. And I believe the rest are in the castle. I have a feeling. Let's talk to this toad. Awful news, Mario. Princess Peach has gone missing again. She packed her suitcase happy as can be and walked off. We can't find her anywhere. Where is she? That's something else we're going to be doing in this episode. We're going to be looking for Peach later. Uh, so many references to Super Mario 64 in here. Feels good. Uh, there are, in fact, proper coins back here. And you can see there's Toadette here. But we're not going to talk to Toadette yet. I didn't want that to rhyme. But we're not going to talk to Toadette yet. We're going to talk to her much later. Because I kind of want to bring up an annoying point about her par our purpose. Yeah. Now, there are nine purple coins left. I don't know how many are actually in challenge rooms, if any. I'm hoping there aren't any in challenge rooms. But... You know, can't ever be certain. Uh, da, 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 da. Hmm. Why does this place have to have the most annoying purple coins? Uh, come on. Where can they be? You know what? Let's just go in here. Let's see if there are any in here. Oh, you. There aren't any purple coins in here. But this mission. Ooh. That puts the word challenge into challenge room. Oh my god, that is a hard challenge to do. Uh, which is one reason why I didn't want to do 100% on camera. As well as, obviously, the, uh, uh, jump rope, because that's annoying, as well as difficult. Uh, purple coins, where are you? Wherefore art thou? I'm really stuck, where are these purple coins? <laughs> There's only nine left, and I don't think they're in any challenge rooms, so... But again, I could be oh so very wrong about that. Because whenever I seem to say they aren't in challenge rooms, they some tend to be. Which really sucks. And because of that, I might just pluck these out of the water, or out of the ground, to drain the moat, because then Yoshi can come down here, because there's a pipe with a fruit in it, which only Yoshi can eat. Right there. Yeah, there. There we go. And I'm, I'm hoping that I'm not wasting my time here, and that there are purple coins in that specific challenge room that I'm trying to get to. Oh, come on. Mario. Alright, so we drain the moat. And head towards the stairs. Because we still need to get Yoshi. Uh, wait, hold up. Before I do that, there's a scarecrow over there. That creates that. This is technically used for, um, something when you get 100%. 
But I do want to do it now to see if there are purple coins in here. Or up here, I guess. None around the brim. Any at the top? Nope. No, no. Well, Yoshi. Let's go. We're going to feed you some fruit. This one. And... Oh, where is it? It's over this way. There's another one down here. Yoshi can run in small little ponds, but not big freaking lakes of water. Now I'm looking around. I don't see any purple coins yet. Uh, there are none in here. I don't think. Nope, okay, we're good to go. So now that we opened up the way in the moat, let's just go up the hill and down into the moat. Are there any in here? Okay, it wasn't in there, but that is something I want to show in a later episode, so I'm not going to show it now. The suspense is killing you, I can see. Um... So that really begs the question as to where they are. Uh, I'm clueless. Like, honestly, truly clueless. Um, hmm, bah. Well, I guess we can show off a capture, and no, it's not this rocket, but it, this rocket leads to it. Sorry for that incredibly long disruption, but here is something we do need to do. Well, for 100% every anyway. This is Picture Match. This isn't the first Picture Match we can do, and this is what I was talking about in the last episode when I said I wanted to do them both at the same time. This is one of the captures, and sorry for the interruptions. I keep getting interrupted, and I'm... I'm really annoyed by it. I'm not even going to rotate any of these. I'm just going to put them all in the right spaces and just see how it turns out. <laughs> this is going to be a monster. <sighs> After three disturbances... I just hope I can get the rest of this video done, because there's a lot to cover. And it's taking a lot of time to do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that made me feel better. I still scored! Oh, wow. Okay, the update uh, interruptions are hopefully done. But that is remarkable. And I still, still got 60 points for that. <laughs> Oh, that was worth it. Now, I have also looked up in the meantime where the last nine purple coins are. They're pretty much all hidden along edges, I think. I know six of them definitely are. Uh, but, yeah, they're hidden along edges. So... Just, uh, just be sure to check every single edge. And even though that was my advice at one point, I still failed to follow it, so that's just great. One edge is just right here, right by the water. Oh, uh, there we go. Uh, another edge. Wait, wait, wait. I think maybe... No. No, I got all of these. That's good. There is one, though. One set that is just right over here that I missed. Yep.
Thank the power of guides. There we go, all 100 purple coins. And now, we must spend them. Uh, right over here. Uh, come on, get in there. Alright. We can get the Mario 64 cap, which we're not gonna wear. I like it. Mario 64 suit, which, again, we're not gonna wear. Pipe sticker. Coin sticker. Brick sticker. Western Mark Block sticker. Mushroom Kingdom sticker. This is going really slowly. Mushroom Cushion Set. And Peach's Castle Mold. Okay. Now. I've got some notes in front of me and I really want to get through this very quickly because of how long I've actually been recording due to interruptions and stuff. As of... Well, in Peach's Castle... Um, the Mushroom Kingdom, there are no more, uh, there are no more things to actually capture right now. So, we're good here. I was going to show off all of the, um, paintings and hint art, but I don't think that's really necessary there. I, the point of the hint art is not to have it spoiled, I guess. You're supposed to find things out for yourself. And I was going to play all of the Toad music guys, or show you where they are, and you know what I mean. But I think I can still do that. But I'm mainly going to go around now just getting all the captures that we need. And our next destination is the Cloud Kingdom. Cappy's going to talk to us about the... the suspicious rocks that we saw which we will get to in a second because I believe oh did it I believe if we go in here yeah, fingers crossed yeah there we go another picture match with a goomba this time and I'm gonna try it just to get the capture and then I'm just gonna quit out of it because I really don't want to do this. And again, running on time. Cooking on gas. All that. Look, we're a Goomba mouth. Move. Actually, I want to try it again. I want to try and see if I can get a good score by just placing them in the places that they need to be, but not rotating them at all. Let's see. I don't care if we don't get the moon, I just want to get the capture. That looks hilarious. We still won! Yeah. Wow. That's impressive. And there was another thing I was going to show off. Um, Princess Peach, she is in every single kingdom now. Go and find her. I think she's in every kingdom. She's in basically all of them. So, yeah. She's going to be in various different places in each kingdom. These are moon rocks. They came from the moon. And now that we're in the post game. We can now interact with them. And they create. See if it shows us. A whole buttload more of power moons. Not so much in this kingdom. But in every other kingdom, well in every kingdom, there is a moon rock somewhere that you must break, even on the moon. And they all hold various moons to be had. Again, I'm not really going to go into it into much detail because they are just moons that you want to get. They're just extra moons for 100%. And cooking on gas again, like can't stress that enough. I am really, uh, really pressed for time at the moment, considering 
I've probably been recording for about an hour and a half now because of all the interruptions. And if we check, I believe we only have two captures left. That indeed we do, and they are both here in the Metro Kingdom. And yep, I can see one of them already. These letters, you can capture them, you spell out Mario, you get a moon. Basically it, and I'm really disappointed in Nintendo, they didn't make a reference to Olimar with those letters because you are able to spell Orima, which is uh, what Olimar's name came from, and it's a rearrangement of Mario, and yeah. It would have been cool to have a bonus moon uh, for getting, like, for spelling Orima, and then, you know. And we're back in the power plant. Probably wondering why. Well, our last capture is in here, and I tried getting it earlier in the series, but apparently couldn't, so now's the time to get it. Okay. And I died. Alright, here we are. I just decided to skip ahead. We have a puzzle piece. Just like in the Lake Kingdom, I think it was. And we're back to the... Wow. I am awful at this, to say the least. And my Joy-Cons are running low on battery. You know what? We don't need this. We don't need it. Uh, I'm going to go to the Odyssey. Hopefully my Joy-Con doesn't run out of battery before uh, the end of this episode. But that is every single capture now. I've already gone over all of the... Well, I've already gone over uh, Peach. Uh, I've gone over the Moon Rocks. I'm just checking my um, notes at this point. Music Toads are again in every single... Well, actually no, I think there are five Music Toads. And the list of kingdoms they are in are on screen right now. And the Hint Arts and Paintings, they are what they are. So our last thing we need to do is go to the Moon Kingdom and spend our purple coins because we didn't get to do that last time. But there's our shop right over there. We get to spend our 50 moon coins or 50 purple coins is what I meant to say. One thing, shops now actually sell multiple um, moons. You can buy literally as many moons as you want. There's an unlimited amount that you can buy. But do note that if you want to see the number go past 999, it doesn't. Uh, it caps off at 999. And yeah. So, you know, don't waste your money on all of those moons because, yeah. I didn't realize we actually put on the space outfit. Oops. But I lied, there is technically one thing I want to show uh, in the Mushroom Kingdom now. If we go back. I said we weren't going to bother with Toadette. Not yet, anyway. But now, now's the time to bother with Toadette. First time anyone's ever said that. No one really likes Toadette. I don't know why, there's not much love for Toadette. I'm genuinely confused by that. She's actually kind of... Like, I know she's not really that interesting of a character, but... I don't know. At least have more love for her. But this is also a reason why you shouldn't have so much love for her. Toadette! gives you achievements. She gives you a power moon for every achievement you do. She doesn't give them to you all at once. Oh, no, 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 no. You have to sit here. And she gives you a list of all the ones she'll give you. She gives you each one of these. One at a time. And there are so many that you can see we can already get. Just to show you how irritating this all is. I'm going to speed this up.
That was agonizing for me. But yeah, Toadette doesn't just give you moons one, like, all at once for the amount of achievements you have. She gives them to you individually. And there even is an achievement for getting all of the achievements from Toadette. It is ridiculous. And that brings about the end of this episode. There are so many things I wanted to cover that I couldn't just squeeze in because of, you know, everything I've had to do. But there are some things that I would like to mention now. Between now and the next video, the moon count's going to be a bit inconsistent. Because there are two more areas. Off screen, I'm going to collect 46 moons to get to one area, which we'll be covering in the next episode. And then, after that, I'll be getting another 250 moons to cover an area after that. I've got a lot on my plate, and it's going to be hell. But, I'll see you all in the next episode of Super Mario Odyssey, I guess. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.